Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John Ward, and I am a grief recovery specialist certified by the Grief Recovery Institute. So last summer, after some profound loss events in my life, I decided to become a certified grief recovery specialist. As I've mentioned that to people, they have had some confusion, as in, what did you say? Maybe a little bit of curiosity, but also things like, I don't think I could do that. I couldn't, I couldn't do something like that. And then you have those that are like, I don't think I want to talk to this person. And they start walking kind of sideways, looking at their watch and remembering they got to like get their, they got to wash their hair or something like that. I can understand that, but it's been a wonderful experience working through this process, both for myself and helping others do so as well. So this serves as somewhat of an introduction to what I'm doing. Some things have surprised, even really delighted me about grief recovery. I've learned that while we all have grief, we're all emotional creatures. And so as such, we experience grief in our lives. And I'll explore that more in other videos. Recovery from grief is real. Frankly, the second time I went through this, went through the process of grief recovery, I was absolutely astounded by the impact that it had on me. And that's when I became, I guess you could say, a true believer in grief recovery. And all that recovery from grief requires is a commitment to emotional courage in taking proper action steps, which is what I help people do as a grief recovery specialist. Also, the tools of grief recovery can be implemented with anything from very tough losses um, and with even really good relationships to those that we wish could have been a lot better. Bad ones can become better and good ones can become outstanding. And they speak from a personal experience. My plan. Um, so I've had a, a newsletter on Substack since the beginning of January. And my plan was to post about weekly. And I've done that. I think I've only missed a few. Maybe I was on a trip. And so I've had maybe a dozen, maybe a little bit more um, articles on my Substack newsletter. But then the other day, I realized that there are people that aren't on Substack that are on YouTube that are looking for information about grief, about how to find recovery from the losses in their lives. And so I thought I should record what I've posted on Substack and I should put it on YouTube. And that'll make it a little bit easier for people to find or for different people to find. So that's my hope here. I plan to discuss ideas of how, uh, typical reactions to grief in our society, but both to the griever, but also to others, and how those reactions and the things that we're told are typically not helpful. Instead, I'll provide some useful alternatives. I plan to share stories and anecdotes from myself, myself and from others that illustrate important and correct principles. And I hope to have engaging interactions with viewers and readers that I know and ones that I don't know. At the bottom of my website, which is mendmyheart.org.org, I have this mission statement. My mission is to reduce human suffering through the grief recovery method and associated programs. It is my belief that much of the world's hyperpolarization and anger would be alleviated through proper healing of our broken hearts. Sometimes there's something emotionally breaking in our hearts that we don't really know how to cope with in a productive way. And maybe we can lash out in unproductive ways because we have this broken heart. My hope is that creating and maintaining a newsletter and a YouTube channel here uh, will help me better achieve this vision. So I'd appreciate it that if you stumble upon this video, maybe share it with others, do whatever it takes to help provide a little bit of awareness, just the little thing, I guess the thumbs up, I guess they say that really helps. So I'll expand much, I'll expand much on this much more in the future. But the best thing you can do for someone when they are grieving is just to care for them. Here's a few things that you could say. Um, let's say there's someone whose grandparent dies, or their elderly parent dies. And you say, well, how old were they? Oh, they were 86. Oh, and then oftentimes we'll say things like, well, I'm glad they had a wonderful life. Or no, maybe they're no longer suffering. And aren't we grateful for that? And maybe those things might be intellectually true. 
They don't help emotionally, and grief is an emotional experience. So instead, here's some things to consider saying. I can't imagine how painful that must have been, or the pain that you may be, must be experiencing right now. That must have been devastating, and my heart hurts for you. The idea here is just to express care without judgment, criticism, analysis, or trying to fix anything. Again, my intention here is to post frequently and to provide correct and helpful principles on grief and grief recovery, and to share stories and anecdotes that demonstrate application of such principles. And I thank you for joining me on this journey.